don't forget our last message. What you do to your neighbor, yeah, you use your mouth to finish it. What you do to your neighbor, you do to God. So what you are doing to us is not fear. You don't give us any breathing space. I was uh, passing around at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, and I was seeing people hanging. Can you imagine the workers since yesterday, the worker in the house of God, they have not slept. They can't leave you on my row in the night and sleep. Since yesterday, you people were on the main row around 3 a.m., 2 a.m. That you do to your neighbor, that you do to God. <laughs> you remember last meeting, it was air conditioned throughout. We put on from beginning to the end, and you know the cause of air condition. Let us reflect on our social life, the cause of running our air condition generator and the worker in the church today. We cannot begin bothering distressed people. I mean, the sick one, the poor one, asking for financial support. Though it is scriptural, but the question remains, whom are we asking for support? The distressed, the sick, the poor. When you are delivered, your thank you is a blessing from God. When you are healed, your thank you is a blessing from God. But when you are distressed, your thank you is distress because you are your thank you. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Because you cannot live above your word. I am my thank you. You are your thank you. That is why most gifts today is a curse, not a blessing. You say people will greet you, good morning, daddy. Most of good morning, daddy, good morning, sir, are a curse, not a blessing. Most offering we collect in the churches all over the world are a curse, not a blessing. I mean, I am my thank you. You are your what? Tell your neighbor. You are your what? Because you cannot live above your word. You are your thank you. I am my thank you. This is why most gifts you receive today are a curse, not a blessing. This is why most blessings you receive are a curse, not a blessing. This is why you have to be very careful. After the service, you see whom to collect offering from. How will you know the distress? How will you know the sick? How will you know? The poor, after their deliverance, you will know them. You will know whom to collect blessing from. If you don't ask you of free, this, that, that, not that we don't know, not that it's not scriptural, but it's scriptural. Whom are we acting for financial support? Whom? That is a question. So I want to leave you here. Thank you. Thank you. Rise up. Question again, you are your what? Tell your neighbor again. I am my what? Because you cannot live above what? Above your what? Tell your neighbor again. You are your thank you. I am my thank you. Because I cannot live above my word. When you are distressed, your thank you is distress. When you are sick, your thank you is sick. 
So for me to stand here now and begin to say your offering, your thanksgiving, your this, your that. From whom? The sick one? The poor one? The rich one? Your heart will tell you whom you are. It's a taste of the heart. We have received a lot of email. People keep saying to us, ah, no offering, no thanksgiving, every living water services, no thank you, no th Ah, we ask offering from whom? Distress, sick, worry people. When they are delivered, they are thank you. It's a blessing from God. And they immediately they ask you, who are you? What's the problem? You say you have cancer and you move to the monte. By the time you get to the monte, you get relieved. Say, I'm he, I'm he, I'm he. Not that immediate. Because that immediate, you cannot have anything. You're just happy, happy. But by the time you get home, you begin to say, oh my God, I need to support the ministry. I need to support the ministry. The next thing is, ah, I need to support this ministry. I've spent so much fortune over this trouble. I need to support this ministry. But for now, you don't have. But getting home, I need to support the ministry. The way I need to support the ministry will also bless you to bless ministry. Take note again, if we don't ask you offering or thanksgiving or whatever, whatever, you are expecting us to ask as normal thing. It's scriptural to ask, but whom are we asking? Is it distress? Poor one? You see many people, they look beautiful, bit and some. If you go deep to their life, you will know they borrow money to be here today. Are we ask them to share us out of the money they borrow for offering? The money they borrow to be here, they should give part of it to the ministry. The appearance is deceptive. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Appearance is deceptive. You see people with beautiful gown. You see them? They appear and you say, oh my God. By the time you go deep, 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 you know, many of what they put on are borrowed.